Hi everyone and welcome back to this latest project of mine which is being drawn on A3 as you probably just read there and this this project proved to be uh, very testing to say the least and also I, I learned a lot from doing it though I learned a lot it's safe to say because I because of the size of the A3 I thought I could get a lot more going on in, in the picture than I actually could. I drew this gargoyle here way too big because I wanted to do like a, an extended archway and do all the brickwork to frame the, the Brides of Dracula, but it became apparent very quickly that I couldn't. And I immediately became very frustrated because I was drawing the Brides way too big or I drawn the gargoyle too big, which meant I couldn't get the detail in the Brides that I wanted to. So with that, it meant that a lot of the realism had to be abandoned and in so much as I was struggling to get the realism in there. Certainly with the first two brides anyway, there was a lot of correcting work. I had to keep going back and, and adjusting things and altering things. And I was getting very frustrated now, guys. Very frustrated indeed. And there was a lot of the time now I felt like giving up on this drawing, but I'm really glad I didn't. I, I stuck with it and I persevered and I pushed through. And even now on this second one, I again, I, was, I, I wasn't happy with how it turned out. Personally, I felt it could have been a lot better, but I had a break from it for a day and came back to it and I came back to it refreshed and I thought, finish the drawing, just get it finished. No one has to see it. And I, and I think it would be very good experience for you to do it, to, to, to do like a longevity of the drawing in itself. And indeed, round about now, I, I was far more relaxed and you can clearly see the drawing started to improve or certainly my drawing certainly started to improve on this last vampire s i was extremely pleased how she came out i was getting much better detail subtle detail in and i was getting my shading was 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 far better and i was just far more relaxed because i'd taken a deep breath and had a break and this might be a drawing that i come back to one day and maybe do again and, and compare them but yes I, I learned a lot from this drawing guys i learned a heck of a lot even though i'm not overly pleased with the end result i am pleased that i stuck with it i'm pleased that i've i've done this it's, it's my first a3 like i say i've learned a lot and and for me the advice i'd give guys is, is stick with it just stick with it all drawings go through ugly phases this one for me went through a lot of ugly phases but now with it done I've got to say, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. There were certain things I did with this, like having the hair hanging over the barrier, the, the frame, sorry, her hand there in the corner, you can see. And at the top, having the night sky coming down into the dark areas of the frame where the gargoyle and, and the one vampire S is uh, like uh, turban that she's got on there sticks through. So yeah, there, there were areas that I was pleased with. And here now are a series of photos which I took every two to three hours and show the build-up of the actual sketch bit by bit. So with that, I'll leave you with these uh, images and the final images. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, I really would appreciate a like button. Anything you wish to, to ask or comments you wish to leave, please do so. I'd love to hear from you all. And I'll see you all in the next video, which I will be starting work on very, very soon. Until then, take care of yourselves. And once again, thank you for watching. Ta-ra.